Good afternoon, my name is Gabe Zolna. I think the majority of Americans are really not aware of the implications of Benghazi and what that whole thing was all about. Nor are they aware of what the true agenda is of this administration. Actually, the leadership of this administration, along with a lot of individuals like Valerie Jarrett. Valerie Jarrett's been uh, instrumental in driving a lot of these points home. She's also gone to Qatar to negotiate, uh, and uh, she's not even part of the government, so that's pretty interesting, isn't it? But she's a good friend of Obama's. What's really scary, and this is going to become evident, I think, real soon, and that is uh, this uh, whole Benghazi thing was uh, an operation to funnel weapons. Uh, Obama is really working for the king of Saudi Arabia. And the king of Saudi Arabia, and Saudi Arabia itself, uh, they are the leaders of the Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, they are the ones that follow Sharia law. And now that uh, Obama's helped uh, destroy the uh, government in Libya, that's under Sharia law. And uh, now that he's working on doing the same thing in Syria, he wants to bring that under Sharia law as well. In essence, we're doing the work for Saudi Arabia, and it's being done subversively. Uh, well, the reality of it is that the evidence points clearly to Obama and his administration. And he can't step away from what happened in Benghazi where four Americans were killed and he did nothing to prevent their deaths. Nor can he step away from trying to hide everything under some false pretext of something to do with some video that had nothing to do with the video. And the truth will come out, and the American people will realize what we have in the White House. Uh, but I think unless he's removed, and removed soon, it'll be too late. There is so many things that he's already done to create so much damage to this country that the country might not ever be able to survive. And everything that he's doing is just a, 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 it's a deflection. Obamacare is a deflection. He's got so many people focused on Obamacare that he's doing all these things in the background. And these things I'm referring to uh, turning over the whole uh, Middle East to the Muslim Brotherhood. And once that's all under their control, Obamacare will become totally insignificant because they don't have Obamacare in Saudi Arabia. And they don't have it in Libya. They don't have it in Egypt. And they're not going to have it in Syria. Nor will they have it here. The United States, if their plan works the way I believe it's set to work, will become part of the caliphate. And the Muslims will rule, which is what his whole objective was to begin with. Everything that they're doing is to distract and to deflect. And uh, Hillary, Hillary is part of it. She knew exactly what was going on. She tried to help deflect it. And now they're talking about her for 216. It's a joke. There'll be no 216. Right now, we're on the brink of World War III with what's going on in Syria and in Turkey. We've got military personnel on the borders of Turkey, our military personnel, and they're manning Patriot missiles. We've got Russia in Syria with their weapons pointed back towards our military people along the borders. What do you think is going to happen? We're sitting on a powder keg, and Obama put us there. So... The rest of it is just a deflection. The real objective is to bring the caliphate to this country. The evidence is all there. All you have to do is open your eyes. Everything that he has done is to accomplish exactly that. Every time there's any kind of conflict between Muslims, he's the first one to defend them, no matter what they do. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if bin Laden is still alive. And the reason that is, is that he was head of the organization in that part of the world, and Obama would have thought of him as, as next to the king of Saudi Arabia. So who knows? We, know, we don't know anything. What we do know is that we don't know. What we do know is we know nothing about him. And what we do know is he is destroying this country, and we're allowing him to do it.